I know this is late. I should have had this done two months ago. But let's get the series started right now. Sonic's birthday is in three days. Let's get the series started. So, hey everybody, it's KJ. And today we're talking about Sonic Metal Gadget. I know, should have done this two months ago. But school was kicking my butt back in those days. So, as you can tell by the title, we're just talking about the story. <clears throat> so, I have like a, the summary right here is a big summary. And I'm just going to be reading it off the thing. So, I was trying to, try to uh, pay both attention to the camera and this summary. So, so we begin our story with South High, the location and main setting at some point. With flickies and animals on the island just living night. Sorry, someone keeps testing me. Uh, honestly, what am I doing? Okay, sorry, it is, I'm really excited to do this because I, I can't wait to tell you guys about this game. Honestly, huge shadows appear over the island. The shadows were to be revealed, were, the shadows are a lot, I don't know, I can't, sorry, I'm sorry. <clears throat> the shadows were to, the silhouette, there we go. The silhouettes were to be revealed a large glimpse with an ominous figure inside the main blimp whose shadow looks like Eggman starts, starts to walk over to a huge cannon. As the figure prepares to fire at the island, an alarm was set off. The figure sees through a telescope and sees someone running across the water. You all know who this guy is. The figure then aims the cannon at the person and fires. Obviously, the person who's running dodges it. The other ones were piloted by Orbot and Cuba and starts to fire at the guy. The figure again dodges the missile and rides one to a high plateau in the water and jumps really high to one of the blimps. Cuba's blimp, Cuba's blimp, I can't speak today, fires one missile to the figure which seems like it hit. However, the figure turns the missile around and crash lands, crash lands on Cuba's blimp. The figure is revealed to be Sonic the Hedgehog. As you can tell, there's some song of these guys coming from this opening. After completing the Egg Blimps tutorial stage, Sonic meets Eggman. However, it turns out to be Omelette, Eggman's niece, new character for the game, and she reveals that she... Yeah, she says that she's testing her uncle's new weapon, the Eggicizer. A cannon that can transform anything into robots, and it, get, it gradually it gradually gets stronger on his own. She states that she doesn't want Sonic to get in the way, so she gets in her neck the egg cat. Sonic beats it as usual with no sweat. It's the first boss. What do you guys expect? After the fight, suddenly... <clears throat> Sorry. Omelette, omelette. Runs over to the cannon and fires it at South Island. Almond states that the first test of the cannon is a success with three area areas already been exercised. She then presses the self-destruct button on her blimp, trying to kill Sonic in the process. Sonic escapes the blimp and falls to South Island. Now metallic I I now but, <clears throat> sorry. Something's in my throat today. Sonic escapes the blimp and falls to South Island, now known as Metallic Island, as the logo Sonic Metal Gadget appears. Similar to what some Sonic games in the past, like Sonic Unleashed, for example, and Super Mario Odyssey, pretty much. The logo shows up after after the big cuts in, in gameplay. After landing on Metallic Island, Island, Sonic gets ready to start another adventure. Along the way, Sonic gets a magic scrap of metal named Jero. Jodo explains that he's an ancient piece of metal that can mo modify the being's body. Let's just say like he can go to one part of your body, something like that. Think of a uh, after that thing, but it's pretty much he goes from your torso to your arm really quickly. He his waist was wiped out due to every single one of this ancient metal destroying each other due to one of them taking over the world on their own, but Jodo being the only peaceful one. He also said that since he's been out of use for a long time, he was sleeping for many centuries until a recent injury being hit him. Pretty much what happened back in Unleash where Chip was woken up by Eggman 
But here it's not premature, it's just it's a wake up call, man. Gerald Glenn explains that he can help Sonny on his adventure. So pretty much Sonny explained what's happening. So the Gerald explains, okay, I can help you. So he turned into a necklace on Sonic. Cool necklace. Pretty much, I think that's show the picture over here? I don't know. So suddenly Sonic sees that Orba and Cuba are coming after Sonic, after him, from behind by buying egg and Mac, the egg runner. Jerry reveals that he has a grappling hook in the necklace form. So this necklace can now bring out the grappling hook to ceilings and walls. Think of the Sonic Forces uh, avatar, but you know, it's way better. It's not arm automated, pretty much. You got control of it. The other thing was that since he converted into Sonic's shoes, Sonic can now stick to the wall on a standstill, it can give him a boost of speed. Pretty much, Sonic was six, but intentionally good. <laughs> Sonic beats the egg runner with Jello before running off to find Tails. Orbot and Cuba find it. Well, I, I sound so dead. I'm sorry, guys. Sonic beats the egg runner with Jello before running off to find Tails. Orbot and Cuba find a chaos room in the ground and decided to use it to their advantage. Keep that, in, keep that in, in your mind as we go to the story. At the, at the completely metallic island, Sonic sees Tails and his tornado flying around a huge black toe. Once Sonic meets up with Tails, it turns out that Tails is now roboticized. And we get to our third b boss fight. After beating Tails, he turns back to normal and explains that he got in the way of the ways that on that fire. Sonic Tails, Sonic Tails, hails that Eggman is trying to exercise the whole world. And his niece also, but Eggman's the big guy behind this. Sonic also states that Cannon has energy that is equivalent to the chaos emeralds. I forgot to mention this, but the canyon, when Sun tried to, try to destroy it, the canyon actually had a force field that's equivalent to the chaos um, emeralds power, so to counterattack it, you need that seven chaos emeralds. So they had to get all the seven chaos emeralds to destroy the canyon and build a counter cannon, which behind the scenes was we are playing the game, Kels is making this little canyon on his arm that is like, that will reverse the effects of being exercised. So called the de-exerciser, but it's, you know, instead of, you know, just saying, it, it just takes longer than the exerciser. But I will tell you this, spoiler alert, the stages, there's not seven rules, there's like 10 rules, I believe, if I remember correctly. So not every chaos room is collected after each rule. So you may, may think that a level is irrelevant, kind of, but in a way it's like we're on our way to that level. It's just in between, pretty much. So think of Empire City, but some more relevance to it. So when we get to the fourth stage, well, we later found out through a live announcement on TV, big TV from Simon 2. Eggman announces that he's launching his, his new battle station, the Egg Saturn. A space station that looks like a metallic version of Saturn. It says, it says that everybody has three days to look like organic creatures because as each day passes by, Eggman will fire the Egg Sizer at an area of the world to demonstrate its power. To determine that the area that will be the second one to be wild science after Metallic Island, well, technically the fourth that we've seen, uh, Eggman pulls out a card that reads, Chow. The fourth wall. Uh, that was a big spoiler. My, my bad. Eggman then fires the cannon from Egg Center. From the Egg Center, at Sonic, Jello, and Tails with Jello making a metal ba barrier to protect them both. To protect them, pretty much. So Jello makes a barrier around them to, you know, protect. Sorry, I can't really talk today. I'm just reading the script, pretty much. Now. The fourth world is now exercised. This made Sonic tells, like, we gotta go save the world. And you know what? The thing I like about this is that uh, what I want to happen is that we should see Eggman's dark side again that we haven't seen since Lost World did, did try it, but I mean, like, Adventure 2 vibes where he's really demonstrating what he can do. He can be funny at sometimes, but he can be deadly. I mean, his name in America used to be the 
Ivan Robotnik. And over here, he was more satanic back in the early 90s. Let's bring that vibe back. After being... Uh, when Sonic... This is improv because I forgot to put this in the script. But Sonic goes to the... Sonic and Jerry goes to the, to the ice world. And, and there's this temple. And inside the temple, there's a chaos room. As Gerald tries to go and get it, Sonny looks up across the uh, murals and it shows Gerald's race. And it turns out they come, what's the word? They come, let's just say, not friendly when they encounter a chaos emerald. So Gerald finds this chaos emerald and gets, pretty much turns evil. And it turns out it's a fake chaos emerald that Eggman planted there. I don't know how he got there, but pretty much it's foreshadowing what's happening in the future. So, Gerald transforms into this big monstrosity. Sonic takes it down, and then everything's back to normal. Now, so now they only got six chaos emeralds, but now, well, I'm trying to say that, that they, they got sidetracked. They only they still got six chaos emeralds. They just need one more until they realize that the egg carrier three is yes new a new egg carrier is fl is flying to the egg center. Joe believes that the way at last chaos emerald is on that battleship. Tails decided that he will fly them to the egg center with the tornado three. Tornado three. I mean t tornado after taking down the egg carrier. Pretty much was go to the egg carrier. Before taking down the egg scanner. I'm sorry if I sound disorganized, but I just want to explain some things that people might not get. Eventually, Sonic gets the last chaos in at the beat after destroying the egg carrier 3. Or by Cuba, they're fine, they're just like in some area. And makes his way to the egg scanner. Once they get there, they invade it, obviously. Before beating the egg gadget levels, Sonic meets up with Alma and her Miss Egg Scanner robot. And they have their final encounter. At the end, Alma gets blown out of the egg center and falls to Earth below. Sonic meets up with Eggman and his final mech, the Egg Hedgehog. Sonic beats it and assumes that was Eggman's final robot. Sonic goes to the cannon with Tails as Tails explained that he. This is what happened. So the tornado. Tails took uh, Sonic and Gerald to the egg center to. Uh, diff thing off Eggman while it tells and the Eggicizer at Earth. So Earth is now saved, but remember the Eggicizer is still stronger. It's getting stronger every second or so. So it's not completely saved. We just gotta take care of the big threat before we can just call it a day. So pretty much that what happened. So Earth is now back to normal but not completely saved yet. <clears throat> So Sonic tries to destroy the cannon with the with a super power spin dash, not like the super sonic spin dash, but Chaos Emerald was going into the cannon, but suddenly the cannon fires a missile at Sonic. Suddenly the cannon morphs into a huge robot mech with some Eggman hands it, hands missile with the cannon being on the right arm. Eggman flies in and puts himself in the cockpit of the machine. It is now the Egg Assassin. So pretty much, remember what I said about the temple back in the ice world? Eggman got the canyon from the temple. That puts two and two together. That's why he, he probably knew that Sonic would come there to, you know, get the chaos animal. So he planted a fake chaos animal just to sidetrack, to distract them. Eggman reveals that Sonic's plan is highly stupid due to the machine can detect any threats coming at it. Since the contact of the Chaos Emerald energy, the can replicate re that energy into his own as Eggman states it. So, Sonic pretty much screwed himself over. Gerald then realized that the metal, pretty much I just explained it, so Gerald just repeating what I just said. Uh, but it did make, but the, the assassin did make a uh, demonstration of his power by making it his arm bigger and punching Sonic and Gerald. 